her. This un soltum en odil. If you got your Bible, open it in Mark chapter 7. This is the week of Mark chapter 7. Marco sefta, swako kulko, yegnevo chapter. And we sure got a good chapter in front of us. I saw Kerasi ke on Thursday la zikotor on the chapter, on Sunday la zikotor la kangariake, general, sal family. And then on Monday night on Zoom, we discussed the whole chapter, right, Andrew? And so it's been a blessing. And this is the only way Kesite, we're going to produce disciples. They got to come out of the word. We can't produce disciples out of emotions. We can't produce disciples out of songs. We can't produce disciples with just activities. We need to produce disciples out of a knowledge of the word. They got to see Jesus. They got to meet him. They have to encounter him. Sale disciples maladile le Christosa. Voacarele. We don't call disciples. The Lord calls disciples. And so, how do we meet the Lord? Well, he's not in Jerusalem no more. You can't find him in Galilee. You can't go find him somewhere. He's in the Word. And he's among us. Going through a gospel, you just see him in action, verse by verse. That's why you have to be here Thursday. You have to be here Sunday. You have to get on the Zoom on Monday because that's how we're going to really get fed. We're really going to get zor katar katar O gospel of Mark. Amen. So what I want to do tonight is read the first part. The uh, accusation, Palele Pharisees, as we always see them, they're always bringing in an accusation for Jesus. They're always against him. It's uh, funny how Le Maibare Bezechale were at his feet. Ale my body religious manus, they were always against him. They always wanted to ridicule him, question him, and some kill him. Isn't that something? The religious should have been the ones to accept Vosio Messiah. Bonjanenas my Bure O Purano Testament Saborenda. Gentile women recognizing him as Lord, as we're going to find out Sunday, with the Syro-Phoenician woman in this chapter. We're not going to talk about her tonight, but on Sunday. But just keep in mind this. Gentile, Naizi Dovaika, and uh, she's from a very distant place, Syro-Phoenician, and Voya Cardiales Lord. Yet, le Pharisees, Zido Buria, Kajanena Sosacono le Devlesco, Akarenadles, the Prince of Demons. And that was the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. That was the last in their list of sins against the Lord and against the Spirit of God. Kepenyao Jesus, Chages, Chiterara, Naitumengi Yerfime, Kakobezer. Who did he tell that to? Na juvli shudini peipu kai shudela, na le le manus ke sas perdo duhu ya chogan delende, na le manus ke sas unclean. But Jesus spoke the most strongest of words to tell a human being: "You will not be forgiven now or never." He told it to religious people. And so I say that as a backdrop to what we're about to read because it's the religious people again, Kayavenko Jesus, with an accusation. Let's start. Chapter 7, verse 1. The Pharisees and some of the scribes gathered around him when they had come from Jerusalem. Aven, from Jerusalem, I todepe around Jesus. And had seen that some of his disciples were eating their bread with impure hands, that is, unwashed. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they carefully wash their hands, thus observing the traditions of the elders. 
So there was a tradition. It was not law, not zakono de vlesco, but it was a tradition of the elders. And the tradition of the elders was zakono le purengo that was handed down from rabbi to rabbi and handed down from the Pharisees and down. There was a tradition of the elders that they would ceremonially clean their hands. This was not for purposes, kai maybe tu ala plachal tu te chalaves kevas before chazik burger or something, just pala ke kevas melalele, right? But this has nothing to do with uh, hygiene. This has nothing to do with having clean hands before you eat. Tenana uh, suavos. This has to do with a ceremonial uh, washing. So that uh, ceremonially, uh, that is, they were. Uh, they were cleansed. Alares. So one declare que the disciples that Jesus they're not following the tradition of the elders. I chiker this as godo ceremonial wash to de petechan. And when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they cleanse themselves. And there are many other things which they have received in order to observe such as the washing of cups and pitchers and copper pots. So, Gadokarena the Pharisees, they had their list, massive list of things that they used to do. Kanajanas uh, on the marketplace, Kanajanas te kinen variso, janas on the foro. Maybe they bumped into a Gentile. Maybe they bumped into a man that bumped into a Gentile. Alares, a non Jew. And so being in the marketplace and being among so many people that possibly some of them were not uh, uh, ceremonially clean, um, they, when they would come back from the marketplace, not just chalavena levas, like they would sprinkle themselves or even bathe themselves with water. I by gigodo uzarelas le maybe as badele that were probably unclean, some Gentile maybe, or something like that. So you gotta understand a you know, mindset katero Pharisee. I want you to picture him as a very religious person, very ritualistic, okay? Very uh, like Sarek Manus ke si godolestar ke pakial pe buran de bach. This is this people, very superstitious, very religious. I very And they had this list of the tradition of the elders. So Penenle Pure. And they would follow that very, very, very carefully. Okay? But when they came to they would bypass. And minimize it. I was in as my the tradition of the elders. The Pharisees and the scribes asked him, verse 5, Why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders, but eat their bread with impure hands? Verse 6, look at Jesus' response. And he said to them, Rightly did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites. Yeah, that's not too uh, kind, huh? You're going to find that a lot. You're going to find out a lot about Jesus when you go through a gospel verse by verse. verse, by verse. You're going to find out that he's not always just go, those sweet person. Come to me, all who are weary. He, he, he called people hypocrites to their face. And he's telling them, O Isaiah, diasazik prophecy patumende, your type of religious people. As it is written, in other words, I'm about to give you the word of God. You're judging me for the tradition of the elders, which was not the word of God. It was uzakono ke meklil pure. You're judging me to meden makris palo zakono to mare purengo, medau to mekris koto suato mogedadesko. As it is written, this is dedicated to when you're about to quote the word of God, okay? And here's the, the word he gives them from Isaiah. This people honors me with their lips, 
but their heart is far away from me. Wow. That must have hit bad. Because the Pharisee thinks he's the one close to God and everybody else is away from God. But oh Jesus, Penelope, no, you're the ones that Isaiah talked about. You honor God with your lips, but your heart is far away from him. Now, where is the lips? On the outside. Where is the heart? On the inside. See where Jesus is getting to? What you do is lip service. It's not a heart service. Le mosa tu me penen paudel. Tu me penen que sen pasaudel. Tu me penen que len tu me palales con zacono. But tu marilo durlo catarodel. In other words, that you are doing, where's the lips? External, right? You're doing the external things. But you forgot the internal things that God cares about. What was the external thing? What's the accusation? Why are your disciples? What? What was the accusation? What is that? External. Avrialsi. So haladem levas. Oh wow, akanajan dohayo. You see? They were caught up with rituals. How Jesus is telling them, you got the rituals, but you don't have a relationship. You're going through this ritualistic stuff, and you got your list of things, the pots, the cups, the pitchers. When we come from the marketplace, make sure you sprinkle yourself with what You got the ritual external washings, but you forgot to wash your heart. And your heart doesn't get washed when you wash your hands. Isaiah prophesied right about you. You're hypocrites. What's a hypocrite? Vargon que penel que si, vargon que nai. So penen as bon que si. Pharisees. What was the word Pharisee? Le manos dinerigate. Dinerigate kata relumia. Dinerigate kata obezer. They were the Pharisees. Teachers of the law. So the image was Canavon Janas Vareka, everybody knew these are the teachers of the law, these are the religious people, these are the temple people. That was the image. But they were hypocrites. Why? Because it was all a show. It was all external. But there was no heart worship towards the Lord. This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far away from me. Look at that. They could have just said their heart is, uh, you know, hard. Their heart is... Bri, look at that expression. Far away from me. Why not just close, but not exactly where they need to be? No. They're far away from me. But in vain do they worship me. In Taino Lubudino Apenanodel. Why? What's the kind of worship God desires? Huh? Where does it need to come from? Andawilo. So, Penyao Jesus for the Samaritan woman in John chapter 4. The Father seeks those who worship him in spirit and truth. And the duha and the chachimos. What that has? What is that? That's an inward worship. Avel and dawilo. Avel from a, from when the Lord touches your heart, and the expression comes as worship. Because you met Him, you encountered Him. Baladi lan lesa. Because Gadalama knows they were all about the externals. Because it's not accepted. In vain do they worship me. And then he says, teaching as doctrines the precepts of men. What does that mean? 
o zakonu le manusengo, ay kerden le sartavilosas o doctrine le tiblesco. You elevated the tradition of the elders as though it was the word of God. Neglecting the commandment of God, you hold to the tradition of men. What did they do? Dineri gate, o zakono le devlesco telempe palon zakono le manusengo. The word there, neglecting, it means it's a word that was also used as a husband divorcing his wife. You are breaking away, you are bidding farewell, you are done. That's what you did to my father's law, Penelingo Jesus. You have divorced yourself from my father's word. I was den oswato le purengo. So stop. Cuando suato le purengo, mayusorosas. It doesn't require a heart change. It didn't require a heart purity. It required an external purity. But hey, wash the hands, sprinkle yourself. When you come back home, araktu, nasbakako, don't touch, don't eat. But what is more difficult? To wash your hands before you eat? or to get rid of pride and jealousy and envy in our hearts. You see where Jesus is getting to? It's easier for you guys to do all these washings, but to marilo melalolo. And that water you're sprinkling on your hands before you eat, and the water you sprinkle on yourself when you come back from the marketplace ain't doing it. So you have divorced yourself, you have let go, you have sent off, you have laid aside, you have forsaken. That's all what that word means. Neglecting. Chilling in my sama. Didn't care for it anymore. Because the word of God, the commandment of God, deals with inner issues. It deals with the heart. And it was easier to deal with washing the hands and sprinkling water. And so Jesus begins now to give them examples of how they do this. Here's the first, here's the example, Kaidele, verse 9. He was also saying to them, you are experts at setting aside the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. He's just hammering on this point, man. Chimekelpe. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and he who speaks evil of father or mother is to be put to death. Moses said, it's not that this came from Moses. It just means that God spoke through Moses to lay the law. It was God's law spoken to, through Moses to the nation. So Odel Penel, through Moses, Honor your father and your mother, okay? But you say, If a man says to his father or his mother, whatever I, have that I, whatever I have that would help you is Corbin. That is to say, given to God. You no longer permit him to do anything for his father or his mother, Thus, invalidating the word of God by your tradition, which you have handed down, and you do many things such as that. Now, what is going on here? Ozakono le deblesco penelas, honor your father and mother. Ozidobo, they were very family oriented. Lenge pure sarame le gom. Le pure si amare pure. I borrow honor, I respect you, right? I'll put obe selas ka ek shao. I o shao les ko duri sas te les sama ka tarpes ko dare ka tarpes ki dei jando purimos. Sar si amen de kal gom. Kal gaijesi homes. Kal gaijesi godola buildings. Kai me kempenge jene and they see them once a month. Alares. My boot kal gaijesi, maybe. 
Maybe on the Excel Ro, maybe see Yek family, maybe Dui. Kaiton le Purogres and the home. I'm not coming against it. But 98 out of 100 Rom, we're going to take care of Godot Puro till the end. Right? That's just the way it is. Vite, Kino Avela, and some of us have went through that. And God bless you because you fulfilled the commandment of God. But these are Penina the Pharisees. If a man says to his father or his mother, whatever I have that would help you is Corbin. What is Corbin? Corbin was a word that meant devoted to God, given to God, pledged to God. So, the Pharisees denas, uh, denas ek out, kalmanus. They were giving them an out. The law says honor your father and your mother, but we tell you, so ala situ love sumnakai. If you just pledge it to the Lord, that you're going to give it to God, it's already devoted to God. So kanavela ki odare ki deite perent ke shava we kind of need a little help puriliam naswailiam. You think you can help us a little bit? Oh, my father and my mother, I wish I can, but it's Corbin. It's been devoted to God. Oh, yeah. So, oh Jesus, Penelinge, you do things like this. You find a loophole around O Zakono Mugadadesco. O Zakono Penel le sama lindar, but le pure si kadetu me. If you pledge what you have to where when you're no longer here, that goes to the temple. Jalke Kangiri, Jalkal Devleski Buki, which they were involved in, then you don't have to give them anything because it belongs to God. And that makes it kosher. It's not that you're evil, it's just that God is more important than mom and dad. So, Gadiakerdilo Yexakono, to the point. Que guindinas que o zacon el deblesco, sasa y bisterde, no. O del peñasas pa Moses, pa les comui, long ago. Honor your father and mother so that your years, so that it may go well with you and your years will be long on this earth. There was a promise with a blessing. There was a commandment with a promise of blessing. So Jesus Penelinge, you do things like this, and when you do this, I denyek out kale manus te nama elin sama katarpenge dada, katarpenge dea. You are invalidating the word of God. Well, swato invalidating is you make it of no effect. You render it void. You deprive it of its force and authority. That's pretty serious. Can aswato le devlesco na maile zor na maile authority. Ando trayo le manusesco. So start. Because you neglected. Chasar diapesco value ando trayo le manusesco. You find ways around it. And the Pharisees were giving people ways around the law of God. So, I think I'm going to stop here. Because I'm undecided on Sunday what part of this chapter to deal with. But we'll stop right here and just say this. Never neglect the word of God. If you was to choose between two evils, choose the lesser of the two. Which is the two evils? 
Neglecting the word of God, disobeying the word of God. Both are evil. Neglecting, tolarigate, disobeying. Both are evil. But I tell you what, if I was to choose, and it sounds very strange, so Pinawakana, I'd rather disobey and face the consequences. I take you, my te penam, devla yer tisar mange, kyo swato si chacho, so tu penesi chacho, I met chikardemnes, and I was disobedient. I'd rather disobey the commandment of God and not neglect it, set it aside, or devalue it. Now, I'm not telling you now that it's good to do this, but I'm just giving you an example. Never, that we have set aside his word. No longer value it. We begin to neglect it. That have to do more with external things. You know, this is external. You know, me here, you're there, we're up here. These activities, they are important when they come from the heart. But do you know that you can do all this and now we're involved? I'm telling you because I've done it. And you've done it. We've all fall into a routine. Kangari, you're here. Your body's here. <laughs> your talent is here. But your heart is not. Your heart is not. I, we did not think that with external activities, washing the hands and sprinkling ourselves, coming back from the marketplace, all that stuff was what? External. Well, here's the thing. What are some of the external things that we do? Think about that. Maybe via me, we fall sometimes in this trap of ritualism. Coming to church because we were told to and not coming because we want to. You understand what I'm saying? The heart needs to be involved. And you struggle. But you're honest. I, I don't want to do it. I didn't get used to. I, I'm going to do it, my dad. They can cook okay, perele yagle dadeski. Anglaudat penel, yes! I would that kerel, wow, kadosio shaola show. I can anklel and a kerchijan. Na perase yak le manusengi. Na te diken le manus et penen pele empe palaudel. Servin le debles. Pianke kangeri. Dikil pe manus lache. No. I'd rather people see certain flaws in us. I'd rather te diken le manus certain mistakes on them in but they can sincerity. Que marasame, amen sa mismo, te servisa mare de bles and dawilo. I'm afraid of the perfect guy. I'm telling you the truth. I'm afraid of the perfect minister. Because I know they don't exist. But I'm afraid of the one that's... He's the perfect minister. I'm afraid of the perfect servant, the perfect choir guy. I'd rather deal with the guy rough around the edges. I'd rather deal with the man that he has struggles. And you know what? 
You know who I learned that from? You know where I got that character from? From the Lord. Because if you see the guys that he hung out with, if you see the ones that he chose, man, there's hope for us. <laughs> there's hope. This was a, this was a very special bunch of guys. Far from perfect. Prideful many times. They rebuked Jesus multiple times. Oh, Peter, you're not dying. You're not going to the cross. And he rebuked him. Oh, Jesus, you're being influenced by Satan. Get behind me. You don't have the thoughts of God in your mind right now. You got the thoughts of the world. And he kept on correcting, correcting, correcting. I'd rather deal with the manus que dikion lenge dosa. Sarkukula, kainuma si kavim perfection. Oh man, that's scary. That's scary. So, what are we talking about tonight? Araktu katar o avrial? Avin halavasa marile, ana marebas. Amen. Amarodat, asundiam ke swato, aishine lo ilo. Lord, I'm not here for pep talks. Pep talks don't help nobody. We're here, Devlan Tesunas, Kirokuchi Swato, Kai Shinel, Kai Delando, Ilole Manusesco, Kai Delande Marundujo. And Father, we heard it tonight, and I pray that we were faithful to the interpretation of your word, that we were faithful to what Jesus was responding to this accusation of the Pharisees. I pray, Devla, that Ariad, we truly draw the principle out of this scripture. The das pogor, Devla, that the Pharisees were all about the externals, but Jesus, you was, you, you're, you're the one that's more about a relationship, and that's what they did not have. And I pray, Devla, that we would never be like the Pharisees. All this knowledge, all these rules all this ritual, but their hearts are far from you. Arakame devla, my mistosi te pukistu ke amaro bezeh, my mistosi te penaut ke devla, you know my faults, you know I fall short. I'd rather be sincere with you, Lord, and tell you about my sin, and tell you my struggle, because that pleases you, devla. I go that we are men that understand our faults, but also they will understand that we have a Savior that is willing to forgive us when we confess our sins. Arakame Devla, never to be religious, never to be people that seek to Never to look down on others. Chain no accusation on the disciples. Devla, they're not washing their hands before they eat. I devla bon, they were murderers. They were murderers. They wanted to kill you. They wanted to imprison you. But devla, they're just pointing at intaino prami. They're not washing their hands. What is that? That's hypocrisy. Misto pendialing. They were hypocrites. And devil, I pray that there would not be any hypocrisy in our hearts as we see this scripture. That we would be real and true with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Amen.